opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. c5 attacks the d4 pawn, defends the bishop on b4 and prepares to develop the knight to c6 behind the c pawn. Ne2 develops the knight to where it can recapture on c3 and avoid doubled pawns, but at the cost of blocking in the light squared bishop. d5 gains space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and prepares to develop the light squared bishop. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is the last book move. This moves the bishop to safety. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is good. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This kicks an opposing knight. It is good. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is good. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square getting it into the action. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This protects the attacked knight. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. Takes back. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This is the only good move. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is excellent. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. 
that was an incredible middle game by both players.